Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, this video here is one video in a series of videos um, that's in a blog post. And if you want to get that blog post and you're on YouTube, all you've got to do is click the link below in the description. It'll take you to the blog post. There's a series of videos um, talking about deer jumping the string. Uh, but this particular video here, I'm going to talk about um, the attitude of the deer. Okay, the, what what the deer is actually in and how they're going to react. Okay, and I'm going to just assume that you've watched all the videos and you've heard the arrow coming to them and you've heard heard the different sound, the way the bow sounds and everything, so you so you understand what I'm talking about and you you see how how fast it is out to about 20 yards um, on on modern bows. You're pretty well okay as far as the string jump goes. Um, as long as you're not shooting high. If you shoot really high, you may be in trouble there um, because they may be able to jump. They may be able to uh, duck a, you know, a couple inches at 20 yards with a, with a modern bow. But anything out probably beyond 25 is where you really got to start, start worrying about 25, 30 yards. And, you know, some people won't shoot beyond 20 yards. So if you don't shoot beyond 20 yards, you probably don't have to worry about it a whole lot uh, because they're only going to duck even a really, 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 Alert deers only at 20 yards with a really fast bow nowadays. It's only going to get probably uh, two to three inches worth of duck, and that still puts you in a, in a good, good uh, uh, placement, shot placement if you aim right and everything else goes right. So um, the longer shots, we're going to say a 30-yard shot. If you've got a buck or a doe in a, in a in a really pressured uh, situation, that deer is going to be even more on a higher alert. Um, than a deer that's that's not so much as a pressure situation. Either way, guys, either one of them can duck an arrow. You see it all the time on TV. Um, Well-managed properties, um, the guy holds back, he shoots, they, they duck. Um, they they're just naturally have fast reflexes. But a deer that is, is hunted heavier is going to be a little bit more apt to duck an arrow, especially if, you, if, he's, if he's being pushed, being driven by something. A deer that's just really relaxed, um, you know, like about 30 yards, you're probably going to be just fine, not going not gonna to have to worry about it. But a deer, say you stop the deer, say the deer's walking, he steps in your shooting lane, maybe you man or whistled or, or done something to stop him and he's looking in your direction, that deer's, you know, on high alert and really going to duck. Them, them type there, you, know, you want to, at 30 yards, you probably want to shoot uh, a little lower, um, Probably you want to probably aim three or four inches lower than you normally would, um, because that deer is really going to probably duck, you know, about six inches. And if you're aimed three or four inches low, at the bottom of where you're um, expecting the, the to make the shot, um, you should be fine and hit, you know, if if the deer really reacts like he probably is going to, if you stop the deer, um, it's going to react um, in, and you'll probably hit the top of the. Uh, and make, still make a good shot and reel or cover the deer. Um, 40 yards, if you stop the deer at 40 yards, you're going to have to drop that down another two or three inches. You're almost at 40 yards uh, on, a, on a high alert deer. You're really almost not even uh, you're aiming at the very bottom of that deer's chest um, and maybe even an inch or, inch or two below that. And at 50 yards, same thing um, kind of a deal because of the reaction that you're going to have on an alert deer. Now, a non-alert deer at 30 yards, I would probably aim an inch or two lower. And 40 yards, maybe about about three inches lower than normal. I would still put the arrow at at at, at 30 yards. I would put it, um, you know, two, two inches lower than what I would normally shoot at 30 yards on a calm deer. Now, at 40 yards. I would aim at the bottom of the kill zone on a calm deer now. We're talking, we're not talking a, a deer that's alert, a deer that you've stopped, a deer that's being pushed by, uh, you know, dr been driven by something or maybe somebody jumped them up out of their bedding area or something like that. That deer's on a high, higher alert, they're alert, their uh, nerves are really flowing, they got adrenaline pumping through their system. Them deer are going to react a lot more. So we're talking on a calm deer. On a calm deer at about 40 yards, I would shoot uh, maybe one inch above the bottom of the kill zone, and that should put you pretty good. You're probably, the deer, you may get an inch, 
of reaction. You may not get any, and you still get to make a really nice shot. So um, that's, if you've seen all the videos, that's really the best thing you can do is get mentally prepared for how the deer is going to act. Quieten the bow down as much as you can. Um, do as much as you can with the arrow. Um, and, you know, be prepared for that to happen. You know, anything within 20, you pretty much, most of the time you're okay. I've seen them move a little, though, at 20 yards. So uh, be prepared for that and know what kind of, of reaction that, or what kind of mood that that deer is in. Uh, if you stop that deer, like I said, it's going to be alert. So be prepared for that. And, um, I wish you the best. I hope you enjoyed this video here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this series on the... Um, this blog post here about uh, deer jumping the string and I hope it, that, that you learned something from it that you can go out and prevent it from happening to you. Um, get Start getting mentally prepared for it right now um, because them shots are going to happen, especially with a bow. I can't tell you how many times. 90% of the shots that I make with a bow, I have to mat and stop that deer and I have to be prepared to shoot that uh, how far is that distance and where I need to make my shot placement. So. And it's going to be the same with you guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the um, the blog post series. Look for more stuff at DeerHuntingSchool.com. New things coming out. Um, everybody have a good day and bye. -bye.